Okay, so let's take a look at how to do um, <clears throat> question number six in lesson three, which is a, a distribution of footballs um, where, we, where we have a certain um, pressure and a certain standard deviation for the pressure. So the first thing with this question is, it says the footballs are normally distributed. So normally distributed means, um, and just, just a good idea to remind yourself what that is, it means that the curve of the, of the distribution of the data is symmetrical about the mean. Okay, so if the mean is always in the middle, um, which corresponds to the, the, the average, okay, and <clears throat> the values are equally distributed um, around that mean. That's what normally distributed means. Okay, and it has a mean of 13, okay, and then the standard deviation is equal to 0 0.304. Okay, so that means that there is a certain percentage um, <clears throat> in terms of standard deviations, plus or minus around the mean. So it says, determine the extremes of air pressure if 90% of the footballs are considered within regulation of the game. Okay, so 90%, how do we understand 90% in terms of the distribution? So <clears throat> what you want to do is think about 90% being in the middle of the 100% of the distribution of the curve. Okay, so 90% would essentially be <clears throat> the first, it's, it's the part that encompasses the, the, the vast majority of the curve. This is the 90% region right here. Okay, so if the curve is 100%, it means that we're missing the first 5% on the edge here. So I'll put that in another color right here. Okay, and then we're missing the last 5% in the curve on the other side. So that is what... 90% of the footballs are uh, to be considered. Okay, so we need to look at how we can calculate um, the, the basically what are the values here, this, this value here x we can say and this value here y, which will give us the 90% range. Okay, so for the first one we could just use our inverse norm function. Okay, so we can say for x, that's going to be our left um, most side here. Okay, we can use the calculator and we can do inverse norm. And we are going to take um, the, the 5%, so it's 0 0.005 is the lower boundary, okay, up to um, the, the outer, uh, the 5%, sorry, there, we're looking to find X. So this is the 5% range and then we have 13 as our mean and our standard deviation is 0 0.304. So this is going to give us the value on the distribution curve, okay, where that 5% is, is located. And we're gonna see that the lower form of this is 12.500. Now when you're doing these calculations, okay, if you notice, you should take them to at least three decimal spots, just so that you have accuracy in your calculation. So we would say that the lower bound here is 12.500 PSI. Okay, and then similarly, we want to take the upper bound. Okay, so we need to find the value of Y on the distribution curve. Okay, and remember, we're always looking from left to right, where the left side is essentially 0%, and it goes up to 100% as we move towards the right. So this is the inverse norm. Okay, and we're going to take a 95% reading. So we're going to take all the values up to the 95% probability. Okay, and again, our distribution here is 13 is the mean and the standard deviation 0.3. And then we see our PSI rating here is 13.5. So this gives us our range now for our curve. Okay, the X value here would be 12.5 and the Y would be 13.5. And that takes into account 90% of all the footballs. <clears throat> So it's not a very big distribution or not a very large range of values, which means that the, um, the inflation for these, these balls is, is probably very, very close um, to 13 all the time because 90% of them are just within a fraction of it. So is a football with an air pressure of 12.495 PSI considered to be within the regulation? And the answer is no, it's not. Okay, and that's because this number here is less than um, the 12.500 PSI. So it's actually in the 5% range where those footballs are not allowed. Okay, so the answer for that one's no. 
what percent of the footballs had a pressure above 13.4 PSI? So this includes the legal footballs, okay, plus the illegal ones, which there won't be many, but there's a 5% chance that there's some that are above that range. Okay, so we could use our normal CDF function, our norm CDF, okay, where we are going to list 13.4 is our lower range. We are going to go to the infinity range, um, 10 to the 99, so that means everything above that curve, and then 13, and then 0 0.304, we'll put in our values here, and we will see that this is 9.41%. Okay, your calculator should probably read this as 0 0.0. Uh, 941 and there's probably a few more decimals there all right so that would tell us how many um, percentages of the football are above 13.4 and then <clears throat> it says here for D if 98 footballs were found to have an air pressure between 13.076 and 13.159 how many footballs were used in last year's regular season okay so again we need the norm CDF function Okay, because this will let us calculate the probability between those two ranges. So we just need to put those values in. Okay, 13.159. Um, we have our mean and deviation. Whoops, that is 304. Okay, and that will tell us that we have 10.08% of the balls um, lie within those ranges. Okay, so we just have to do a simple ratio to figure this out. <clears throat> so if 98 footballs were found to have this value, okay, this means that we could set up a ratio like this. Um, essentially, we're going to do a proportion here. Um, we want to know how many footballs were used in last year's regular season. So if we set X as the number of footballs that we used in last year's season, Okay, and we know that 98% of 98 of those balls is equal to a certain percentage. We can just do a direct proportion. Okay, so X represents 100% of the footballs, and 98 represents 10.08% of the footballs. So we just need to do a simple cross multiply and solve for X. Okay, so X is in this case is going to be equal to 98. Um, change 100% to a decimal, so that's just 1.00. And then we're going to divide the whole thing by 0 0.1008. Okay, and that will give us a total of about 972 footballs were used. Okay, so there's a large number of footballs, but only a certain 10% of those, about 98, were um, within that certain range. And then it says here for E, how many footballs would have been expected to have a range of air pressure of 0.3? 4% around the mean. Okay, so what we need to do for this is calculate what is the percentage of the footballs that are within 3.4% of that. So again, use your norm CDF function. Okay, the lower range here is going to be the mean minus the value, okay, 0.34 because we're looking at the range, and then the upper range is going to be the, the mean plus the value, okay? And then we have the mean itself, and then the standard deviation. And we find out that this is roughly 42.40%. So 42% of the footballs were um, in this tight range, and we know from the previous question that we had 972. So how many footballs would we have in this range of air pressure? Well, we would take our 972 times 0 0.4240, and that equals to around 412 um, footballs. Okay, now in, if you get a couple of, if you might be off by one or two, it's just probably due to rounding errors. And remember, you couldn't have a fraction of a football, so you'd have to round it either up or down. But this would give you uh, the approximate value of how to, to calculate that out.
Okay, so that's how you look at this question and that's how you step through the different calculations. And in some cases, you kind of have to chain one value into another in order to figure it out. Um, the only thing that's a, maybe a little bit um, tricky here is just to, that you'd have to recognize in D, how do you do this percent proportion idea, okay, where X is the equal to, related to 100%, 98 is equal to 10.08, and it's just a direct proportion that you can then solve for an unknown. Okay, so that's how this question would be working out.